will start with a question from Mark Man Bryans. Hi, Luke. Um, I know you've spoken during the tournament about how close you are to to Bukayo. Just just how is he tonight, and how how important is it that you all rally around him after after that miss? Uh, yeah, no, he's um he's devastated. Um, but you know, I think the most important thing is is for us now as as a team is is obviously to be there for him and gave him a big hug, told him keep his head up. Happens, you know, it's a penalty shootout. Anything can happen, as as a lot of people know. Um, experience he'll learn from, but we're all behind him. He knows that. Not just him, no, Rashi and Sanch also. Um, we're, we're with them all, and you know, we're with the team. We're with the team. There's no individuals that cost that. You, you've said that, that you Matt, that sorry you, Matt oh, sorry Matt Nash was gonna say would you mind muting yourself and you have to now sorry Mark you carry on so is that is that the worst way to lose obviously you, you had it with the Europa League and now and now this as well it's, it, it must be devastating yeah it's it's devastating it's it's gotten um it's of course not what we wanted uh, you know I think we we were very confident about today we felt in a good way we Felt like we were all going in the right direction of you know performances and stuff, but uh, it's just devastated. We gave everything we could, and you know we come up short. But it's again, a, I think a, a step in the right direction of what we want to achieve. You know, a final first time in history that's happened. But from not just me but the team I think that's not enough we wanted to win today but you know like I said we felt short Gareth obviously huddled up with you at the end we saw here what, what, what did he have to say to you all as a, as a group of players no oh, he just said he just said keep it, keep our heads up um, you know uh, it's just it's just one of them uh, it's not much really he could he could say apart from keep your heads up. Um, you know he said what a fantastic group that you know everyone is is a part of, um, and of course things are going in the in the right direction. Like I said, uh, you know a final is is the step that we've not been before. Um, but like I said, it it wasn't what what we obviously wanted tonight, and you know we're all really gutted and you know, it hurts a lot. Uh, thanks, uh, John Cross, Daily Mirror. L- Luke, m- many commiserations. Uh, I-, I was just really going to ask you: can can you still take away? I know it must be very difficult and painful right now, but can you still take away, uh, you know, something from the last month or so? Uh, you know, you feel it feels as if you've taken a, a step forward as a as a group, as a squad, haven't you? Yeah, massively. I think the squad in general, um, the togetherness is definitely there um i think you know it was clear that you could see that even after the game you know with that huddle the way we were with with the lads that missed we're all together in this and you know like i said we win as a team we lose as a team we all we all lost tonight like i said there's no individuals because of the penalties it's it's us as a team collectively um and yeah, no, I think, you know, like I said, we're going in the right direction, but, you know, tonight was a massive, massive disappointment. Is each occasion like this a, a learning experience? You can, you can take something from, you know, maybe you learned, you know, and progressed from sort of three years ago as a, as a team and, and, you know, you can take something again from tonight. Yeah, of course, I think it's a, a massive learning experience. Um Obviously, I had it tonight, and and I've also been unfortunate to have it in the Europa League as well earlier on. Um, of course, it's not what I want, but you know, it's experience experiences that you know I can only learn from, and you know, want to push myself even more because you know it hurts a lot, and we want to be on the winning side, of course. Okay, and we'll finish with uh, one from Dan King. Hi Luke. Um, again, uh, commiserations and, and congratulations, at least on the on, on the goal that you scored. I mean, we are only we're, we're less than eighteen months away from a World Cup. How much positivity should you, as a squad, and you know the nation as football fans, 
take into that, but also what do you think the team needs to improve just to get that extra, extra step? Uh, I don't know. First and foremost, uh, I obviously hope that, you know, we made the nation proud. Um, that's always very important to us. Of course, like I said, it wasn't what, what we wanted and I'm sure it wasn't what they wanted, but, you know, I hope that, you know, this tournament, you know, brings smiles and joy to people. Um, of course, it ended on a, on a low, but I think overall, you know, the experience that we've all had as a team to, you know, with the fans being here, um, you know, it'll be memories we won't forget. Um, but yeah, no, of course, we we know as a team we can always keep improving. Um, I think the good thing about the group is that the fact that you know there's a there's a lot of young young players in the squad um, that are only going to mature and grow up and you know I think gain experiences from from tonight and you know like I said the experience is obviously growing with the younger players and we're moving forward in the right direction and we're learning each time you know that a big a big blow like this comes comes to us but of course now we've you know it's going to hurt for I think for a while um, but. I think we're back in camp next month, I think, towards the end of that month. And, you know, a new kind of adventure is, is of course, the World Cup and we want to qualify for that. And, you know, like I said, we know there's things to improve on as a team, but I'm sure we'll get there. Thanks, guys. We'll call it there. Appreciate your time this evening. Thank you.